Hey Mark Girls! So today we're going to talk about eyeliners. Yes, I did dye my hair. Um, if you go on Twitter, you'll um, I'm always updating that. Um, also, I have a daily booth, which I'll link down below, and my Facebook, which I'll link down below as well. Those are the only, and my website, of course, which I'll link it down below as well. But those are the only, um, what is that, four or five um, things that I have on the internet now other than my YouTube channel. So, um, yeah, so I'll link everything below, and I'll also link a link um, to the actual No Place to Run um so that you can check them out online and um, yeah so I did dye my hair it is black I took away the blonde um, highlights and I really really like it like this now so um, yeah so let me know what you think down below so the eyeliner I'm going to talk about more specifically is the new mark no place to run it is a pencil liner this is eight dollars um, on the Meat Mark website, and you can also order it um, directly through me if you'll um, click the link below, and you'll find my um, eBoutique website. And this is going to replace Mark Eye Marker, which came out um, a long time ago, one of the very first products. That one actually looks like this. This is the Mark Eye Marker, and it's a bit longer and kind of skinnier. And the color, you'll find it here. So this is in brown. And I also have it in lapis, which is the blue one. So if you see right here, it's blue. And there's the color lapis. The No Place to Run is long-lasting, long-wearing. Super long-wearing. Um, the eye marker was not. It was a bit more creamier. This goes on a bit... Um, very intense it's very dark and um, the marker is a lot thicker than the, um, the other one so here it is side by side this is in Java and this one here is the no place to run and this one here is the mark eye marker so it is quite um, a bit shorter the new no place to run and it is um, thicker, I would say. So there, it, the eye marker is this one here, and the marker eye marker itself is a lot thinner. The line goes on a lot thinner. This one is the eye marker, and it looks thinner than the eye. No place to run. Ah! I'm gonna get confused calling that. If I do that, it'll, you know, kind of come off a little bit more than this one here that is not budging at all. So the difference also with the new eye marker is that in the cap, you can't tell. You definitely can't see it looking into it. But in the cap, there's like a little um, groove where the eye marker stops. So um, you can't push it in any further you won't get you know the eyeliner in the cap and I know I hate when that happens so you can definitely feel when you push it in that there's like a little stopper eye marker doesn't have it didn't have it if you leave it too high it'll definitely get in the cap also the cap itself since it doesn't have a groove it um, I don't know if you can tell there but tiny little crack and that is because um, when you push it down, if you push it down too hard, it um, just starts breaking apart. So, um, and this cap is completely, uh, it just like falls, so it's not very secure. This one, on the other hand, is very secure, and I like that you can't push it in any further, and it won't mess up your, um, your liner. Another thing that's very different, and I, I've never seen this um, like at all, 
and that is the fact that this is um, plastic this little tube and you can sharpen the plastic on this so I'll show you here with my sharpener this plastic is completely sharpenable so you just put it in your liner your thing here and it does feel like you're sharpening plastic it doesn't feel like a pencil but it leaves it very very sharp so I thought that was really cool really different I've never seen that where you can sharpen pencil uh, plastic this one here is in jet set which I have used before and I have on today and I always just create a little wing and I also bought um, this one here in ultraviolet and you can see the color down at the bottom and there's that one the other color that I bought was foxy brown <laughs> which is the brown color and I'll do a swatch that one's really thick right the um, ultraviolet I just kind of bought so it's not as creamy you know when you start using things more and more they become creamier I find that and then I also bought solid gold which is the gold one and it's more of a bronzy gold so I haven't really used this um, it's definitely more metallic so those are all the ones that I bought. I haven't bought the green one which is called Grassroots. The white one is called White On and the blue one is called Indigo Girl. And then there is a really cool gray one which is called Steely Gaze. So um, I'm looking into buying those soon but I haven't had a chance to buy them yet. So I had bought this Revlon Colorstay one um, earlier this year because the mark eye markers were not long lasting so I wanted a pencil uh, like this one and this one is that one there so I'm gonna do a little test all of these have been our color stay and I'm just going to take my finger and just rub it and the one that seems to have disappeared is the Revlon color stay and the one um, next to it is the Jet Set. And that one still hasn't moved, as you can see it has. Definitely, um, you know, had a little smudge, but, or the thin, 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 thin line is the um, eye marker in the brown color. So that one's not one, but um, the other colors haven't moved, like, at all. And I've been rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. So, um, it hasn't moved. The only one that keeps moving is the um, color stay one. So, um, oh, so I think that's really cool. They are completely color stay. They are not going to go anywhere. You can even put it on your waterline and it's not going to budge. When I first got these, I actually didn't know how to use this properly. The Mark No Place to Run. I thought that it was a twisty cap so I would like twist and twist and twist and twist and nothing was coming up so I was like ah oh, this doesn't work this like is not working I didn't know that it was sharpenable so just in case you bought this and you're wondering how to get more product up um, it's sharpenable I completely didn't know that at all because you know it's plastic I've never heard of sharpening plastic I feel kind of silly saying that, but I know I'm not the only one. I hope I'm not the only one who thought that. So if you thought that, definitely um, these are not twisties at all or the twisty thingies. Um, you sharpen it. So this is just like a pencil sharpener, except it's using plastic. FYI. <laughs> and as always, don't forget, guys, to make your mark. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.